Sure. Well, in the uh, in this region, uh, Rubico works already with some of the largest institutions. So within the Gulf, we've been here for 11 years. Over the last uh, two years, in fact, since we last uh, met, we've also expanded to cover North Africa and the other s uh, significant markets in sub-Saharan. And we've also expanded northwards to look at the Central Asian republics. Uh, we feel that Rubico in this region will work best for institutions who've got similar types of needs. So we're looking at economies and government institutions which are resource-based. So this means targeting the sovereign wealth funds um, and those that share the same types of issues and challenges as we see for the ones here in the Gulf. Um, we distinguish ourselves, I think, because of the, the level of integration of our marketing and of our asset gathering activities. For any of us, work, any of us and our competitors working with the sovereign funds in this region, you have to be the best. There are 19,000 asset managers in the world. We're the uh, 49th largest. So when we go to them, we will only go with our very best uh, capabilities. But that's exactly what our competitors will do. Mm -hmm. So it will mean that, uh, that uh, the sovereign fund will still have 20 or 30 um, Good case, fantastic it? opportunities. Mm -hmm. So beyond that, we also have to ensure that we have a close relationship with them, which is why we're based in the region. And then once more, we believe that actually it's, you still have to have uh, an additional element. So we have an ambitious knowledge sharing program which runs throughout the year. We have a, a highlight for us, a showcase event each year in the Middle East, uh, the Rubica Middle East Investor Conference, where we invite the top institutions on a purely private basis, and we bring the world's leading thinkers to them and have a, a closed door, uh, open discussion. So this year, we had Nassim Talib, uh, author of Food of Ra Randomness. Uh, we had Martin Wolf, the chief economist for the Financial Times, and Martin Felstein, uh, professor of economics at Harvard. Last year we had also Professor Felstein and we had Chris Patton, the uh, EU commissioner towards this region for the Maghreb and of course famously the last governor of Hong Kong. So we found that our clients very much appreciate not just being given a speech but actually having two days where they work together and can have a dialogue with these individuals and with ourselves. And that's what we do here in the Middle East. We have the same type of conference or program or university um, around the world on a quarterly basis. So if I was going to summarize it, it's proximity, strong relationships, and a deep commitment to knowledge sharing and to thought leadership. So we look at long-term problems like megatrends and asset allocation for them with our clients together. So we aim to establish as much of a partnership approach as possible.